It's not news that you wanna miss. The first developer beta of iOS 11 is already out. Armed with an iPhone 7 Plus and iPad Pro running the first developer preview version of the software, we took upon ourselves to examine the upcoming update and provide you with an extended first look. Is iOS 11 shaping up to be a milestone chapter for Apple software division or merely an incremental, forgettable update? Let's find out. Admittedly, iOS 11 is shaping up to be a more substantial update for the iPad and not the iPhone. Tablets will score an all-new dock panel that's rather similar to the one on macOS. The new dock has room for a lot more app icons, which can be added by a drag-and-drop motion. Furthermore, you can drag and drop the icons from the panel directly to the screen in order to multitask. What's also nice is that the dock is not confined to the home screen anymore and can also be accessed while you're inside an app. A new multi-touch gesture is also on board. It provides an easy way to select multiple items. Just press and hold on something and then add more items by tapping. Additionally, iPad users that also have the Apple Pen will have their experience supercharged, as iOS 11 introduces a host of new features that will allow for a more natural and fluid interaction with the tablet. Instant markup and instant notes are awesome and so is the all-new Files app that we'll talk about later. Alright, so let's move over to the iPhone and start with the more obvious new changes, which are in the visual department. The control center has been overhauled and now looks different than previous iterations. Control Center takes up the whole screen now, heavily employs 3D Touch and utilizes nifty sliders for volume and brightness that we really like. It's also completely customizable and you're free to choose among no more or less than 17 separate toggles and features, some of which are only accessible from the Control Center. Aside from that, Apple has also revamped the Notification Center, which is now called Cover Sheet. Essentially, it's your lock screen with all of your notifications, but now accessible from anywhere with a swipe down. Using the cover sheet felt a bit weird in the beginning, but we can easily see it growing on us in the not-so-distant future. iOS users will be able to send money to one another straight from iMessage thanks to a new dedicated iMessage app. Most interestingly, if someone messages that you owe them money, a contextual suggestion to send the amount with the iMessages app will immediately pop up in the suggestion bar at the top of the stock keyboard, allowing you to easily send the other party the required amount of money and be done with it. Rest assured, you will be able to receive currency from other people the same way. Another major change is the new App Store. It will greet you with a Today view that puts featured content right in front of you, including the game of the day, curated app collections, picks with tips and tricks for the more popular apps out there, various daily lists, and so on. As a whole, the App Store is now more of a lively lifestyle hub for games and apps, which is certainly appealing. Moving further on, Siri now sounds way more natural and human-like. It also has different intonations for most words, which means that you won't hear the same exact pronunciation from her every time. Talk to me, Siri. I'd really prefer if you talk to me, Topper. Tell me your hopes, your dreams, where you'd like to make a dinner reservation. Talk to me, Siri. Let me think, no. Tell me a joke, Siri. Two iPhones walk into a bar. I forget the rest. Translation is one of the key new Siri features that we dig very much. Just ask the assistant how's this and that in Chinese, Spanish, French, German or Italian and it will immediately provide you with a coherent translation. How do you say good evening in Spanish? Buenas noches. How do you say I want to hook pandas in Chinese? How do you say I want a glass of milk and orange juice in French? Je veux du lait du jus d'orange. No guys, Hill hasn't frozen over. Apple is throwing in a dedicated file manager in iOS 11. The Files app is a hub that will let you access your local and cloud-based files. Of course, there are many other changes on deck, but for now these are the most important and major ones. For the full picture, feel free to check out our complete overview of the iOS 11 beta, which is available in the video description. For more mobile-related videos and content, make sure to subscribe to our channel. This has been Plamen D with Phone Arena. Thank you for watching and see you next time.